Merhaba, good afternoon, how's it going? This is not Dacha, the uh, town that I'm heading for. Now I've forgotten the name of this uh, little village, but it is on the way to Dacha coming from Marmaris, where I'm staying, and I decided to uh, do a day trip out to uh, Dacha on this uh, strange little peninsula that goes out into the Aegean Sea. It's about an hour and a 15 minute uh, drive from Marmaris to Dacha, and I'm about 45 minutes into the drive, and this was the first little village that I came across, so I thought that I would stop here, poke around a little bit, give a little bit of a uh, contrast between what is going to be a more touristy uh, town of Dacha and a, looks like, typical Turkish town here, inland, on this narrow peninsula that is very mountainous. The road was quite uh, windy and went uphill a lot. You can see some good-sized hills there. So a very interesting area here. Marhaba. Definitely a sleepy little village. Everyone getting ready for winter here. Piling up the firewood. Merhaba. And I hear a azan, the uh, call to prayer. I guess they have a little mosque here. All right, I think I'm going to uh, turn around, get back to the rental car there, keep on cruising, get over to Dacha. And so this is the little town of Emachik, which is actually what the village that I was at before was labeled as on Google Maps. And so I guess maybe it's kind of a suburb of this town or something because it's just a couple of kilometers up the road there. And I am right on the sea. Although, if I looked a little closer before, I wanted to park at the uh, mosque just to get a shot of it. So the sea is really close, but he keeps eluding me in trying to get over to it. There we go. I was expecting a little promenade along the uh, water there, but I guess not. It's just kind of a uh, rustic little town. Dacha is going to be more of a uh, typical fishing village with a bay and a harbor and stuff like that, I think. And I think it will be more picturesque, but... Uh, this is another side of things, and it is quite interesting. And there are actually some uh, hotels here, as you saw there. This one here. And it looks quite nice. Pool that's kind of not completely full, it looks like, but uh, it is a very relaxing setting here. Nice little bay and a couple of restaurants down there. Kind of an alternative to the uh, bigger and more popular beach areas around here, especially Marmaris. That is a whole different scene. And this is Dacha. My trusty Renault Clio here, 30 bucks a day. A little bit of a walk down to the sea, but had to grab the parking spot while I had the chance. There you go. Dacha. And here we go, the pretty waterfront. 
And that is a lovely sight there. This really nice little bay. And out there, not sure which piece of land it is, is the Greek island of Simi, which I visited two years ago with my friend Victor from Sweden. Looks like that's where all the restaurants are. Out there. And I can see some fish in there. They're pretty small. And somebody's got a fishing line set up here. And I guess this is a Peruvian restaurant. Machu Picchu Guru Cafe. Fixed menu, 110 Turkish Lira, about $15. What a nice place. Shakshuka. Fava. Merhaba. This is definitely the place to get seafood. So it is October 18th or 19th or something, and so it is late in the season, and that is why it is kind of uh, quiet. Plus, of course, the uh, virus situation, but other places in Turkey are still quite uh, busy. Marmaris, for example, but Dacha here is kind of out of the way. And looks like they're uh, either setting up or taking down a market. Looks like they're setting up. Thank <laughs> you. 
down has a nice vibe. Very relaxed. And the restaurant choices are just off the charts. Like, how do you decide? 